A creepy new Siri voice clone is coming to the iPhone. In this age of highly personalized technology, Apple's Siri makes the leap from responding to voice to imitating it. Picture this, you're lying on your couch, half watching the crown, half scrolling through your endless emails, and then you hear this, your voice reminding you of an early morning meeting tomorrow. It's like you've stepped into an episode of Black Mirror. Welcome to iOS 17, where Siri is not just your assistant, but your voice twin. Straight out of a science fiction novel, right? It only takes Siri 15 minutes to clone your voice, faster than making a good grilled cheese sandwich and a bowl of tomato soup. Now let's put aside the creepy cool side for a moment. Apple's intention behind this seemingly futuristic feature is to improve cognitive accessibility. The idea is that we respond better to our own voice or to the voice of someone we know. It's like a digital version of yourself as a personal assistant, like a high-tech version of talking to yourself without the prying eyes of others. For some people, especially the elderly, those with cognitive impairment, or even those diagnosed with ALS, hearing a familiar voice can bring comfort and relief. They could have a digital version of their loved one guiding them which is pretty cool when you think about it. For example, hearing a loved one's voice guide someone with Alzheimer's disease can create a sense of comfort, familiarity, and ease that a regular voice just doesn't match. Let's face it, it might bother the rest of us a little. Imagine hearing your own voice, clear and distinct, and maybe a little better than you remember, echoing through the phone, reminding you to water the plants or do the laundry. You might feel like Siri has taken over. Or worse, you're starting to lose it. However, whether we like it or not, we are diving headfirst into this high tech age where our devices are not only smart, they become our digital duplicates. They know our habits, our favorite songs, our favorite restaurants, and now they're starting to sound like us. It's safe to say that our smartphones may one day know us better than we know ourselves, for better or for worse. Ready to talk to yourself with Siri? Will this immeasurable familiarity bring comfort to our everyday technological interactions, or just a whole new strangeness? Let us know, we'd love to hear from you by emailing us at